Hello, I'm Jenny Blakey and I'm from Elder Abuse Action Australia or e AAA. And why do people need family agreements? Well, it's a big change in people's lives. It often involves large amounts of money or property and asking someone to take care of them for, a, for their lifetime or, or those sorts of arrangements. And if something goes wrong, it's going to have significant implications and, and possibly even dire consequences. Often things go well, but there is that risk that people need to be prepared for. Hi, I'm Melanie Yerston from Seniors Rights Victoria. Some of the things that can go wrong in family agreements um, can mean the agreement has to end. It might be that people don't do as they promised. Uh, it might mean that there's a conflict or abuse where the relationship between the people break down. Uh, it might be illness or disability where the older person might need more care than the family member can provide. Or sometimes it's a change in financial circumstance or relationships um, where things have just changed and the agreement has to come to an end. The following things should be included in a family agreement. The basics such as how much money or the, the value of the property which is being transferred over or given, um, whatever the circumstances may be, and what the expectations are in exchange for that um, property or that asset or that money, uh, some of the detail around that. So there might be what are the expectations that might be in terms of the level of care that's provided. Um, it might be around what the expectations are in terms of um, what might be expected of the older person to contribute, whether there's an expectation that they might contribute towards childcare or looking after the property, the cleaning or cooking. Uh, it's important to get those things sorted out because sometimes the older person might feel that they're trapped into doing a lot of work that they didn't expect was going to happen. The other important thing to work out is if something goes wrong, what's going to happen? in terms of the, uh, of the money. So that um, is there going to be um, money re returned to the older person? To what amount? Uh, and, and those sorts of things. So sort of contingency planning, which is important to include uh, in the family agreement. And also probably um, sometimes where there'll be a review of what's changed since we first drew up this agreement and is it still appropriate. Another option to use if things aren't going right, if things are going wrong, is of course to seek some uh, expert, expert help through a helpline or an advocacy service. And those will be listed on the Compass website. So the steps that people should take to arrange a family agreement is for the older person to first think about what they need and want. Um, and then to have that discussion with family and friends, um, the people that are going to be involved in the agreement, as well as others who might be able to give some independent advice. Um, and also to make sure everyone knows what's going on. And then a really important step is to seek independent legal and financial advice to make sure that you understand the implications for tax, age pension, all sorts of things. And then finally, get the agreement signed up, by, uh, written up by a lawyer. Some of the remedies <clears throat> when things go wrong are, are probably useful just to go back to what the agreement is and try and have a discussion with um, the other parties that might be the family members or it might be adult children um, or niece or nephew uh, and try and um, explain what was agreed and try and get that um, honoured. Um, it might be that things have changed and so it's, it's a bit hard to go back to the agreement and I think in that case again, it might be useful to go to an outside person who's neutral and can try and either mediate or offer alternate um, dispute resolution. And in, if, if those sorts of me mechanisms don't work, then it's going to probably legal means with going back to a lawyer and trying to get um, some remedy through some of the legal, legal ways. But probably in the first instance, we try and, try and mediate in some ways um, to try and resolve the situation. There are a lot of things people need to consider with family agreements. Uh, there can be implications for their age pension, for Centrelink requirements, for tax. Um, there can also be consequences for loaning money um, or acting as guarantor. Um, and so there's a lot of information about this and more on the compass.info website.